Your first TV sport, V10 here. And I've got another guest for, for you from the grassroots scene. It's someone I've played under myself on the Sunday League. Um, and it is Owen Hunter, the Kudos Athletic Manager. How you doing, Owen? Hello. Yeah, good to meet you, man. Good to see you again, guys. Yeah, man. So, um, how's the pandemic been treating you guys? Um, what have you been doing in between? Any training sessions now that we're allowed to social distance and train? Yeah, we started. Uh, we, we restarted about what three weeks ago. Um, we, we started um, little group sessions within circuits and that on Clap and Common West side. And you know, yeah, we, we're back to it. You know, we're trying to get prepared for the season ahead, and and we got a little bit of a head start. So we're going to make the most of it, really. You know what I mean? Good stuff. And um, obviously, like I said, I've played for you before. Um, and one thing I did notice that you've got a lot of talented players within your ranks, um, but. This season, it didn't go maybe the way you had planned in terms of like running away with the league kind of thing because I feel like you've got the players to do so. Um, so just talk me about how you feel this season's gone and how you're going to approach into the next season. Uh, yeah, the season that's just gone by, yeah, we've had different issues. You know, it's been a mixed, mixed bag of things. The first thing was we changed leagues. Okay. Um, we moved from the uh, the Morden and District League into the Southern Sunday League. Um, that was beyond our control because that league had shut down, you know, after so many years. Um, so, you know, we looked at a few different leagues and we ended up with what we considered at the time to be the best option. Okay. Um, and that transitional period as well, you know, getting used to the different teams, the different uh, venues we're playing that, the, you know, um, it's been a, a quite a transition. It's a transition really i thought we did okay to begin with um but then yeah i mean all the things that you get in sunday league you know uh players on availability um discipline issues a mixed bag of things um you know people not hitting their straps at the right time lack of consistency you know um have, not having your best players available all the time and i think the biggest issue for us has been the fact that our, uh, our goalkeeper Keeper, we haven't had him consistently, so our captain and centre half's been playing in goal yeah. for, uh, for all of that season. Despite that, right up to we had got to the semi-final yeah. um, of um, one of the trophies that we entered. So you know, it's a shame that that never happened. So yeah, we, we live and we learn, and you know, every team's been affected by it. So we don't see ourselves any, as any special case. You know, we just we want to just improve for next season. To be honest. Yeah, no, 100%. So, um, speaking on next season, uh, what's, your, what's your plans objectives? Like you're staying in Southern Sunday, I, I presume? And um... Yeah, at, at the moment, it's about staying in Southern Sunday because um, anything I enter, I want to win it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, we want to win a, at least a divisional title yeah. and, and, and a cup. And I think this team is capable. We've got some really talented guys down here. It's yeah. just keeping the bunch together and, you know, any manager will tell you keep a team together more than one season, they gel. Yeah. No, and there's more chance of that consistency coming through. Yeah, and just just to touch on you saying you've got very talented players, that's something I can vouch for, I've seen it. Um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna name names, but um, is there any players or a group of players that you've had at Kudos that you believe, despite playing at Sunday League level, have the capability to make that progression into um, maybe a full-time club, like a professional level? Oh yeah, bloody hell yeah. Um, wow. Um, Kyle Brown excites me like nobody's business. We used to have a, we, we've got a player called um, Lance Hunt. Okay. Now, when I joined Kudos seven years ago, I always used to say, there's got to be a certain type of player to get me out of bed and Lance Hunt was that player. And right now, um, Kyle Brown's that player. He gets me out of bed. Yeah. Um, we got some talented players. We got the um, the two brothers. We got uh, Nye and um, Tyrell. Um, good grief! You know, we got other youngsters coming through. We got Levi coming through. Um, yeah, we we got talent everywhere. Um, but you know, this new generation of players, it's about. You know, you have to have them together for a period of time, and I think we've had them together now two or three seasons, and um, and they've picked up trophies. 
Yeah. So um, yeah, it's about picking up more. Um, I'm always hungry. Um, so yeah, bigger and better. Let's let's go for it, guys. You know, kudos is about winning. Yeah, no, hundred percent. And um, what, what would you say got you into Sunday League? Like, what is drawing everyone's attention to Sunday League? What is it about Sunday League that makes it so special? Kind of thing. I feel like there's a different feeling to a Sunday League environment, not necessarily just the game, but just the environment. To there is on, on on say a Saturday, and a lot of attention is getting shined on Sunday like right now. So uh, Sunday league right now, mm. due to people like no. myself or other people. But what's drawing the attention to Sunday league so much? I think social media plays a big part. Um, you know, um, Instagram um, podcasts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, these things have. They brought more attention to the um, to the Sunday League more so than the Saturday in my opinion. I could be old. Remember, I'm I'm, I'm old school, but yeah. it weren't around in my day. You know, you just, you turned up, you brought your shin pads and you played and, and you went home. And if you you got any kudos, and I'm and I'm, drop, I'm, I'm dropping that, that name now. Yeah, you got any kudos out of it, then you know what? You'd hear about it on the pub or, or in the nightclub on the Saturday night when you're banging dominoes. But yeah. now. It's it's on a podcast. It's 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 getting out there. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere. It's on your fresh TV, you know. Um, so so that has has raised the profile a lot for me, in my opinion. Um, even myself. Look at me today. I'm 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 on your fresh TV and bigging it up. So, you know, what I'm saying um, there's also a certain vibe. I don't know if there's a kind of more of a, a talented base of players on, on a Sunday who, who are not able to play on a Saturday because a lot of my uh, players when I'm scouting players as well you'll find that a lot of them won't play on a Saturday because it's a family day and you know it's all about the family and then Sunday morning yeah mm. a lot more players are available so I don't know it could be a, it's a mixed bag of things mixed bag of things but yeah. that's my take on it anyway yeah man it's definitely exciting I can't wait to see how it, how it further develops and where it goes um, so this season is very going to it's going to be exciting so just to touch on that is is that a lane you think kudos are going to go down soon like you know the cameras YouTube channel social media is that something that's in your plans or um, not immediately like what, what, what yeah absolutely um, in terms of development um, we've already made links with um, VEO oh, okay. um, we produce produce the cameras mm. uh, you know it's just about what options because obviously these things you've got to finance them and okay. when you're at grassroots level it's about where does the funding come from so um, yeah um, you fresh TV for instance you know um, when I first heard about you guys I thought wow that's a great thing yeah. you know um, you're promoting people at grassroots level people who didn't have a voice now have a voice talents that weren't being seen before now being seen it's about raising the profile and you know, p people get chances who probably wouldn't get chances before, and that's about access and opportunity. And you know what? Um, podcast, your fresh TV, you know, it promotes all of that in the right direction. So, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. You know, remember, I'm, I'm grassroots. Um, I used, I used to play. With, I, well, I would tell, tell you some players I used to play. With. I used to play with the lead singer of Musical Youth in midfield, Danny Seaton, for instance, and that's just giving you an idea of how old I am. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> let's let's take it back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to roll back the carpet too far, G. <laughs> no, that's that's big, man. Um, let's let's I'll, just to focus on the, um, what's happened this season. Uh, hmm. Obviously, using the Southern Sunday. Um, what would you? Who would you say is the best team over there, or the best teams? I'm not going to limit you to one, but like, I just want to get an idea of because um, sometimes you know you can look at the league table, and again, whoever finishes at top deserves it. Don't get me wrong, but you, there could be some teams that are really good, but their league position maybe doesn't quite reflect how good they are. Um, but just from your experience playing in most of the teams, like what are the teams that stood out to you? Obviously, kudos aside that you thought, yeah, this is a good, this is a decent Sunday team outfit. This is Over the year? Um, okay. Um, well, um, stood out in terms of giving us a good battle. Yeah. Um, certainly Spartans, for sure. Spartans, yeah. Um, Spartans, yeah. I mean, phew. you know, in terms of size and uh, as well, we're much, which we're much smaller in terms of resources than, say, a team like Spartans, but they're, they're impressive. Um, yeah, and you know, when you've got strength in depth, when you've got a second team and you've got a third team, which we don't call upon, you know, so yeah, that you know, I, I'm not even looking at that as a level playing field still, but yeah, Spartans stood out, Sporting Continental stand out, um, 
Who else? Real Don Donald have stood out against us. Um, but in terms of pure ability, um, I don't think there's any team I've really come across that I would swap any of my players for, to be honest with you. Um, for me, it's not just about talent, it's about personality. Um, it's about what can you bring to the footballing group. Well, you know, I, I view Q Kudos as a family and, you know, you join a family, you make up, you break up, you fall out, um, all those things happen. But at the end of the day, you're, in, you're, in, you're an essential and integral member of that family situation. So personality is just, just as much important to me as ability. When you, when you can marry the two together, you've got the complete player. Um, and we've got a lot of those. So a lot of them are younger. The average age of Kudos has, has reduced, um, but I'd rather talk about my players. You know what? Yeah. Uh, right, like Fergie, man. You know what? I don't talk about the opposition and what they can do to us. I, I, re, I, I focus on what we've got, what our, our, our tools, what our strengths, what our talents, and what can what can we to do to the opposition. You know what? And let's maximise that. So that's really part of how I view the game and my philosophy in terms of playing football. Yeah. And just to touch on that as well, you just you mentioned the word philosophy, um, mm. and this is a question I've been asking quite a few of my recent interviews. It's like, what does an Owen Hunter team want to play like? What's your objective? What do you try and instill into these young, talented players? The way of playing as a team. What's what's, what's your style? Would you say you're trying to? Mm. Okay. Um, well, I love passing football. You know what? Um, I grew up on Don Reeves, Leeds United. I'm a Leeds fan through and through. You know what, Leeds with the Man United of the 70s, you know, for all the guys younger than me, right? You know, if you look at a video on YouTube, you see Leeds versus Sheffield United, I think there's 21 passes before Lorimer hits the back of the net. It's out there, guys. So, I, I, you know what, I grew up on passing football. It's all about keeping the ball on the floor. I always, I used to say, I used to swear a lot when I, I first got in as a manager, and I used to say, um, the ball is not an effing balloon. <laughs> I used to point upwards, you know what, um, the ball is about keeping it on the floor. Obviously, there's times when you need to hit it long, but for me, it's about pass, passing, passing the movement. It's about passing, move, passing, move, passing, move. You can, if you stood on any touchdown and you heard me shouting, I'd be shouting, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. It's all about passing it, and making maximum movement where we can affect the opposition and being on the front foot. You know, um, for years and years and years, I, I, you know what, being old school, I stuck to 4-4-2, 4-4-2-4. But, you know, as years have gone by, you know what, I got converted to 3-5-2. We can go 4-3-3. Um, for a little bit, I went 4-2-3-1. And I thought it was a bit, little bit too defensive. Yeah. So, for me now, it's about what are your strengths? You know what, and our strengths are passing, moving and scoring. And I like to get my players forward. Um... I believe in his total football philosophy. Rinus Mitchell from the 70s, you know, which Cruyff grew up in and took, he took it into the 74 World Cup. You know, it's about passing and movement. And, and also, I like players to be able to play in, in, in a variety of positions. You know what? I don't I don't like the idea of putting a round pig in a square hole, but players have to be versatile. Players have to be adaptive. Players have to be able to play in a position um, where they're probably not familiar with. But football's about football. It's about understanding the game. It's about understanding the movements. It's about understanding space and positional awareness. And um, maybe I'm maybe I'm um, I'm name dropping now, but that that was one of the things about yourself. Yeah. That that I I truly admired as a player that your your use of space and your awareness of space and knowing the positions to take up within a pass and move system are the things that I look for in football. Yeah, that's sick, man. And I appreciate the compliment. Little shout out. I can throw a little clip. Yeah, in I'm keeping it real, G. That's the way it is. I, I, I got to say it like it is. You know what? Yeah. I can't I can't say it any any other way. You know, I'm not kind of guy. I don't give compliments like that. I give them when they're, when they're real, and and that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. saying what I see. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's that's the same as me, man. I, I, just because I played for you is not the reason why I'm saying you got a lot of talented players because it's. I genuinely believe that's the truth. Like, there's like players like even Issa. We haven't even mentioned him. For me, he's wow, well, extremely well. talented, extremely talented. Um, but again, I don't want to name all the names because I know some of them play for Saturday clubs. I don't want to get involved in the, uh, mm. politics. Mm. So upcoming season, what is the objective for Kudos? You're, you're going for the silverware. League. Silverware. Um, we've won two trophies. We won a trophy 
217, we won a trophy, 218, and 219 robbed us of a semi final and potentially more silverware. Mm-hmm. I get out of bed on a Sunday morning, right, for the love of the game, the beautiful game, and also to win a trophy, right? You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Um, there's plenty more out there that we could win. My team is capable. Yeah. And, you know, if they've got the same self belief that I've got, then you know what? We're going to go out there and we're going to beat up a lot of teams. Yeah, man, definitely. Okay, and just to, I'm going to wrap it up on this question because uh, I know you've been in the game for a long time. What is your 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 best? Um, in fact, it'll be a double question. So it's like, what's your best memory, and what would you say your best achievement is since being manager of Kudos? Oh wow! Well, um, I suppose um, obviously silver is the icing on the cake. Mm. But when I took over Kudos two thirteen, we were like relegation fodder. Um, and then it became what a season of stabilization and taking us away from that. Mm. And then following that, um, we had two third place finishes before we won any silverware. Mm. Um, and y- you know, um, the learning process for me, um, one of my players said to me once, Oh, and you what you're growing as a coach. So I suppose the, the, the thing I take from this, uh, most of all, is, is how much I've learned. Um, man management is a hard thing to do. Mm. Egos are a hard thing to assuage. Um, and you know what? When you can get all those variables together and then get a trophy out of it at the end of the season, that is it. You know what? There's a certain high from that. Mm. Um, and my best memory winning my first trophy and walking over to some of our supporters who, who followed us through, you know, through thick and thin, especially. Um, Ellen Butler I've got called out, got shout her out, man. She she's been there, you know, uh, Marvin, Nikki's sister, and that, and um, and walking over to them and saying, you know what, it's been five years and I won one. So uh, and then we followed it with the second trophy, um, and yeah, we're hungry. Uh, hey, whichever teams out there, you know what, kudos are coming to get you. <laughs> Love that. Oh, okay, bro. Um, well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day. Um, like I said on the, on the Twitter, you are someone obviously got a massive amount of passion and respect for football. I've got a lot of respect for you as a person. Keep doing what you're doing because uh, I genuinely believe if you can get everything together, you've got the foundations to create something special over there, man. So, like, yeah, man, thank you a lot for taking time out for the interview. And I'm sure we'll catch up soon, bro. He's coming, yeah, yeah. Um, of the, all the best to you guys down there, you Fresh TV, you're doing a great job, guys. You know what? Big up, big up, you Fresh, big up grassroots, and big up what you're doing. You know what? It's got to be bottom up because you're coming from top down, guys. Love that. Peace. Take care, Peace. my bro. Peace. Peace. Peace.